I am Munir Ahmed. Uh, I am working at a Higher Education Commission, which is a regulatory body for universities in Pakistan. Uh, I am working as a deputy director over there. My responsibilities are to uh, administrate, uh, administrate this tool for universities, provide them uh, orientation, guidance, and uh, resolve any issues related to Turnitin uh, on daily basis. I am also focal person for the plagiarism cases which uh, we are receiving from different uh, stakeholders. In 2007, Authenticate was the first tool we acquired and then done it in 2009. Uh, and uh, all private sector universi universities were also offered this service through HEC on the subsidized rates. And they, uh, many of them came in the consortium and they are also now part of the uh, this uh, consortium and they are also getting this service through HEC. 113 universities have consented to use this service for next year. Hopefully rest of the universities, there are 160 universities, hopefully rest of the universities will be part of this consortium in next year or two. Higher Education Commission is uh, uh, autonomous body it is working under the government of Pakistan and it is uh, there to formulate policies, guidelines, criteria for the universities. It is responsible to accreditate universities, their programs and uh, on and off curriculum and other activities, academic activities are uh, monitored and uh, they are, these are facilitated through Higher Education Commission. We also provide uh, development funds which are received from government and uh, recurring uh, the operational cost that is also provided to the university through HEC. All the state universities get, get these uh, funds uh, in four quarters through HEC. Uh, that's why HEC is uh, very, mo very much uh, working like JISC, uh, QAA, UK. Uh, so uh, our role is to facilitate institutions of higher education to move forward for developing research culture for quality graduates producing quality graduates through the mechanism which is in line with the international standards uh, standards related to internal quality assurance or external quality assurance well uh, higher education commission uh, was basically established in 2002. The main reason behind the establishment of Higher Education Commission was to uh, provide guidelines, provide facilitation and uh, be a, a role model for the higher education institutions so that they may cope up with the problems which uh, nation is facing including terrorism, poverty. So it was felt that uh, we need to strengthen our institutions through policies, through good practices, through providing funds, through human resource development. Now, all of these uh, objectives were achieved through different uh, measures, through different initiatives. There should be some policy guidelines which uh, should address such type of complaints, investigation processes, procedures, and punishments should be uh, there. So centralized policy, plagiarism policy was developed, and we have used Leeds Metropolitan University's Little Book of Plagiarism as a part of that policy guideline. And that policy was circulated among the universities for adoption. State universities were bound to follow that guidelines. What we have mentioned in that policy, we have uh, aimed at uh, apprising all stakeholders including uh, administration, faculty, students, any staff who is involved in research uh, about plagiarism, about its manifestation and uh, how to avoid it. And also uh, policy pr provides complete process, procedure, how to investigate any case. What should be the constitution of committee?
composition of committee, who is going to head the committee, senior professors, subject expert, student representative, they will be part of the uh, committee like that. Then uh, there are SOPs to be followed for uh, uh, investigation. These are also part of the policy. Then there are three types of uh, uh, punishments, major, moderate and minor. All of these three uh, punishments are described in the policy. So we have tried to uh, basically provide complete guidelines as well as process of detection, investigation, detection and uh, punishment if it is something wrong. And uh, this particular policy was uh, circulated among all universities. The impact of this policy was that cases of plagiarism started to decrease. Another measure of Turnitin was again taken in 2009 uh, due to the fact that, that internet access was uh, spreading uh, students, scholars, had access to each and every resource. We have even subscribed to 22,000 journals for the universities and the, these were again given through centralized mechanism through HEC. And this unique type of facility was available to everyone through all faculty members through VPN. And uh, the purpose was to uh, improve research work, to improve quality research work in institutions. Now, after even these measures, as you know, there are some uh, people who are still uh, <coughs> trying to manipulate data. They are trying to use same data for different purposes. So again, universities are uh, again and again informed about the good practices, about the standards to be followed. And different councils are compelling them to follow some standards. So we are using different uh, ways to improve that re quality research culture. But it, it is not ending uh, type of thing. It will continue and our efforts will continue. And we have observed that there is a significant change in the way things were before 2007, before introduction of policy and turn it in. And it is better in, better in, uh, in better situation now. So through Authenticate, in two years, we have checked uh, almost 45,000 documents again. And surprisingly, in, in these two years, only 8,000 documents were within similarity index. We, we have uh, set a threshold of 20%. That 80% work is author's own work. Only 20% is produced from different sources in literature format or in bibliography, etc. So when uh, Authenticate was a success story, we thought now it's time to uh, give access to all university faculty members so that they may improve uh, the written work, the uh, thesis, papers, reports, assignments right at their own in their institutions. So then uh, we have uh, procured Turnitin for in initially for public sector universities and then rest of the universities were offered on the same price at which we have been detecting for that uh, public sector universities. With continuous uh, orientation of the service, even HEC is uh, 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 basically offering weekly demonstration of the service. Any query, any question anyone has, they can even contact me on Skype I am available uh, during the office hours. If they have any query, uh, I will share a screen and uh, that query is resolved. So due to these continuous efforts and we are continuously in, uh, offering their annual orientation for the focal persons and we are asking uh, good institutions to uh, integrate this service with the LMS. So after that, uh, after these continuous measures, the use of grade mark and peer mark is increasing and that is uh, helping the institutions as well as uh, students to have a quality research work because with the use of peer mark they basically dig out uh, all things in um, 
whatever the capacity they have they select different sources and they refer them try to make their work unique so that the competitor the other colleague may not have any word to say that this is not sufficient this is not good so in depth learning is assured through this this peer mark component and then through grade mark paper and pencil evaluation is uh, replaced more transparency fairness factor is uh, there and all uh, young faculty members uh, are appreciating this service they are saying this is uh, saving their time this is uh, making them more interactive uh, student and uh, faculty interaction is increasing accessibility 24 hours is uh, another blessing of this tool uh, so overall uh, use of the service is uh, uh, actually making them to learn better in better way as a student uh, uh, we have interaction with the students most of the students are uh, not using proper documenting style when they are uh, not using transcription mla apa or chicago turabian different uh, documenting styles Uh, with the use of transcription as bibliography as cited material is also highlighted so uh, supervisor the faculty member are going to guide them how to use proper citing style and uh, how to refer primary secondary sources and what is significant material which should be re reproduced with quotation or without quotation so as a student they learn these thing these things which remained uh, uh, at back end while it was not there the students are of opinion that tanitin is uh, uh, has helped them to write at their own writing skills are improved they start to use their academic research journey in their own words due to this tanitin